Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series. Today I have the privilege and honor to interview Michael Gorton. Hi Michael, how are you doing? Hey, hello everyone. Thank you for being here. So Michael is the founder of Teleco Tele Teledog and is a 13 times serial entrepreneur who has created over 15 billion in net worth from companies he has created. He is also author of great books, one of them, Broken Handoff, a book that educates entrepreneurs, human capital experts, and investors. And currently, he is the CEO of, of Back to Space, a trans, transmedia company which also produced the YouTube program Space News. So, Michael, variety of things you have done in your life, and I'm sure that in your entrepreneurship exp uh, journey, you had ups and downs, some stressful days, some panic moods, which is something very normal these days that we are passing, you know, with the pandemic happening, our lives has changed, uh, job seekers has been overwhelmed, what they want to do, every day is different, every day the numbers are up and they, they don't know what to do, but we need to stay calm and take it day by day. In that sense, what tips you can give from your experience to people to stay calm during this pandemic times? Well, uh, I can tell you, at least from my chair, right now, there's more opportunity than I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, they always say when there's great ad ad uh, adversity, there's great opportunity. And so for the entrepreneurs out there, you should be looking for the things that, um, that represent great opportunity. For everybody else, I would say, you know, I think the the world economy and the business markets are at a transition point. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll give you a really good example. If you roll the clocks back to the early 1900s, mm -hmm. um, when the automobile was first introduced, there were the people who said, oh, this thing will never make it. Yeah. And then there were all the people that dealt with the horse industry. So think mm -hmm. about all those people who had jobs, making sure there was hay, making sure the stuff was cleaned up off the streets that the horses left behind, um, the saddle makers, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, all of those things that were everybody needed for their transportation, which revolved around the horse, that all went away. And so all of those people working in that industry had to find something new. And I understand this relatively well because my grandfather, was a saddle maker. Well, actually, great grandfather. And um, and what he ended up doing was um, he went, well, wait a minute. These new automobile things have uh, chairs in them, so I'm just going to switch and become an automobile upholstery um, uh, worker. And so that's what he did. Uh, so you know, the thing is, look, the, there's we're in a permanent change situation on a lot of industries right now, and I think as we look down the road, try and find what is new, because you will find opportunity, lots of it. Yeah, but how can the job seekers, because there's a lot of them out there, so how they can differentiate themselves, how they can be unique yourself, or, you know, they keep applying, applying, but there's nothing coming up and their stress level is up. So how do you stay calm? Yeah. Um, well, listen, we never do well when we're going crazy and pulling our hair out, right? Can you imagine uh, being in a baseball game and being scared? And uh, uh, you do better when you're calm and focused. And, um, uh, you know, I tell young kids this when they're testing, stay calm, you'll do better, you know, yeah. be relaxed, you'll do better. And so I think don't, don't get wound up. There are opportunities out there, but we are also kind of in the deepest part of the gully right now mm -hmm. um, in terms of a lot of business hasn't transitioned. Mm -hmm. Again, if you're an entrepreneur, you're covered up with opportunity right now. Um, mm -hmm. if, if you're accustomed to working and more comfortable in the, in, uh, the standard business environment, you're, you're gonna have to wait yeah. um, because businesses are transitioning, restaurants are transitioning. And Correct. Um, all those restaurants that close down, you know, there'll be new ones opening, but we have, for those kind of uh, employment opportunities, we're gonna have to wait until yeah. after after the masks come off. <laughs> after the masks come off. A little bit. Yes, those are great tips. Thank you, Michael. For the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Michael a series of questions, but it will be paused during the day. So each day there will be a new question and new answer. You'll be like a journey with us. 
You can like and share any of the videos. If you have any comments, please leave it below. And tune in next time for another great question with Michael.